Tuesday of the 34th week in ordinary time reflection. I John looked and behold a white cloud and seated on the cloud one like son of man with a golden crown on his head and a sharp sickle in his hand. The sickle is important. It is to reap the harvest. My dear friends, we normally in the salvation history people of israel was compared to a vineyard this image of vineyard is always in the in the bible so even in john chapter 15 jesus is taking the same image of the vine and the branch the lord is speaking about a sickle there a a, a knife there a dagger to prune and to cut off the branches which does not bear fruit so that pain is different pain of separation and pain of pruning it's important that we stick to the vine as a branch so end of time of course revelation book of revelation it's a time of persecution where john is seeing this uh, apocalyptic vision i mean life after death how how the lord is going to reward the pain your pain will never go down drain so that's exactly why now this sickle is there and another angel came out of the temple calling with a loud voice to him and sat at the cloud put in your sickle and reap the hour to reap has come now the harvest now the harvesting time so it's separating you separating you from the land that's exactly the same image is brought in in Jesus's parable where he says we have plenty of harvest we need workmen we need farmers to harvest the harvest we need so that's that's the process and he says so he who sat on the cloud swung his sickle across the earth and the earth was reaped then another angel came out of the temple in heaven and he too had a sharp sickle and another angel came out of from the altar an angel who had authority over the fire and he called with loud voice to the one who had the sharp sickle put in your sickle and gather the clusters from the vine of the earth and its grapes are ripe so those who are connected they become the harvest those who are disconnected they are just destroyed so it's time to harvest and put in our sickle and gather the and so the angel swung his sickle across the earth and gathered the grapes harvest of the earth and threw it into the great wine press of the wrath of god so wine press is a tank where you put all the wine and press so wrath of god so that wrath is one thing very positive in that way so you are being crushed to get the get the juice that's how your earthly life would be meaningful so whether you are connected or not pain is part of it so that's exactly where the people who were they were in the gospel some of us speaking of the temple how it was adorned with noble stones and offerings and jesus said as for these things that you see the day will come when there will not be left here one stone upon another and that will not be thrown down so there what they have built on the world will be broken shattered that's exactly of course Jesus is speaking about it in 30 33 approximately 33 AD and in 70 AD king Ta, uh, emperor titus destroys the temple completely with an invasion so these are when will these things be and what will be the sign then those things these things are about to take place when these things are about to take place and he said see that you are not led astray for many will come in my name saying i am here 
and the time is at hand do not go after them so the time is not important for you your focus should be somewhere else what you should be doing i mean be connected and bear fruit so that fruit will be reaped like nero and all the other emperors killed persecution is kind of reaping so it's also it's also kind of crushing to get the wine in your life also the same so get the best out of you you have to go through mill there's no other way for other people he speaks about the destruction of the temple and in the same time he says i'm the temple and you are the temple of god that destruction is with with meaning for those who are not connected that pain is that pain is a curse but then for us it's pruning and crushing to get the best that's the difference my dear friends then then he says see that you are not led astray for many will come in my name saying i am here and the time is at hand do not go after them and when you hear of wars and turmoil turmoils and do not be terrified how things would happen in that way i mean the pain destruction tarnishing of your plans and everything it's part of it there's no other way and these things must first take place so it's it's the life in the world you cannot have in the world you cannot have a life without any struggle it's part that sickle is but then always take it from the lord's hand don't do not ever allow do not ever allow anyone to destroy you i mean it's you belong to him so all the struggle that you go through is with meaning it's pruning it's crushing grinding that's part of life so those who love him will bear that pain happily joyfully then he says said to them nations will rise against nation the kingdom against kingdom there will be great earthquakes and in various places famines and pestilences and there will be terror great signs from heaven it's it's how our plans are crushed my dear friends it's important to understand the reality of life we are here for a temporary time for a momentary happiness don't ever don't ever throw the life everlasting happiness joy everlasting so it's it's for you to experience that there you have to go through struggle there is no other way so always see that vision of that sickle in his hand see that see that vision of that vine press in his plan so he will crush you he will reap that harvest so what you belong now you belong to this world for the moment you will be harvested and you as a crop you are been taken and given to the lord for what to crush get the far get the flour out of it to make bread bread to nourish others and that is exact that is the exact meaning that wine depicts the joy that wine should come when you are crushed my dear friends so when the temple is broken that's their grandeur that's their pride and the lord will crush it he will break your pride also he will crush your plan also always remember what matters is your connection what matters is that you become the you become you come his servant to do the will not my will lord thy will be done that should be your prayer so when things won't happen in your way don't worry just stick to his plan lord will love you always and be in that plan of love be patient and hold on be joyful in the pain in the pain that you go through amen may god bless you